in the room are parents? Hands up. Wonderful. Okay, you're going to hear a lot about DIY bio tomorrow, but trust me, you are the experts. I don't have kids. In fact, uh, never really thought about procreation very much. And in part, that's because I never really trusted the process of meiosis, which is what your gonads do to recombine and shuffle genetic information to produce eggs and sperm. And in fact, I never really understood parenting. My parents, like most many parents, uh, just seemed to be winging it. They hadn't really done a lot of foresight into the whole parenting process and where people, you know, optimizing childhood. So as I became sexually active, I realized I had a problem. I went to my doctor and I said, fix me. And he said, Andrew, we don't do that to people that are 18 years old and haven't got kids. And it's like, why? This is the only effective form of male birth control. How do I fix this? Well, it turns out you fix it by having a lot of conversations with doctors. It took about six years for me, but I got my vasectomy. But the whole experience really brought me into the life science world. And so I found myself doing things like working on the Human Genome Project, getting all of this data and understanding the data and comprehending it, so reading and comprehension. And now it's shifted in the last few years to something called synthetic biology, which is the writing of genetic data, computer-assisted genetic design, the engineering of life. So now we can go from an idea to printing DNA and ultimately booting DNA, bits to atoms to biology. This is one of the most powerful technologies in the world, in my opinion. It's really going to open the floodgates and make the engineering of life is like software engineering, and we're seeing very young people come into the field, and it's growing rapidly. We've made things like viruses, we're making vaccines, we're starting to engineer single cells uh, easier and easier, and it's on an exponential, it's growing fast. It'll grow faster than a lot of the computer technologies. So what happens when we can make a vaccine as easily as we can make a tweet? What happens when we start to engineer every plant and animal? I know this, it's going so fast that soon we are going to make synthetic genomes, human genomes, and edit them. We are going to end up with other IVF technologies and reproductive technologies, probably booting one of these in the next few decades. That'll make cloning look or, like organic, and certainly the way we have babies today, quaint. So the shift for me, the 180 degree shift in my thinking, has been it's time to procreate. In fact, to be a pro-creator of life and to be the best parent I can be. Thank you.